Okay, looks good. Second successful attempt of using dental floss as a bowstring. So, uh, I went through a couple more failed attempts and I did try to go uh, single strand, but it's still kind of weak. So I had to, to go double strand with the dental floss. So all I'm using is just some, I think, uh, dollar store type uh, dental floss. Just pulled out, I don't know, probably about three feet or so, and then uh, twisted it to make a double strand, tied it to the end of the bow here. Uh, this time I'm actually using a piece of uh, horseweed, which is like a, a wild weed that grows out in the woods, um, as a spindle. Uh, it's more of a, like a plant stalk, essentially. Um, and then the uh, fireboard itself is uh, another piece of coconut palm, uh, palm tree. And uh, these tools are like by far the easiest for me to use, at least for uh, what I'm finding in my area. So, uh, but uh, again, using the, the Egyptian method for uh, uh, wrapping the bowstring, the floss essentially around the, the spindle. Just tie a simple knot in the middle of the spindle and then wrap each side of the uh, bowstring around several times. I'm just kind of do one of these numbers on the upper end and then a couple of turns on the lower end until you get it to where uh, you're kind of lining them up and it's kind of flimsy still this way. So trying to find, you know, probably where you can twirl at least one more time to where you can get it to, to bite once you, uh, you turn the, the, the bow. So you see this little short stick here is actually made from a vine uh, that I've been using, practicing my mini bow, bow drill set. And just kind of work it to get it to where it'll go uh, perpendicular to the, to the spindle. and then kind of get it in place and actually use just a new uh, uh, as a bearing block just uh, split a, another piece of a pine branch and just kind of put a divot in it and used a sliver of bar soap uh, to kind of put in the end of it and actually worked pretty well just for for another uh, uh, handhold so kind of working it back and forth and then eventually it would straighten out to where you get the coal so. cool alright Getting better at this.